something um, that like kind of caught me watching the show is when that was like from the ex friend, the ex -friend. Yeah. Mita. There you go. When she came to pitch her, it was different sides and different stories and different timelines and all that. When you start stripping that away, you left for a week or so. And when you came back, your question to her was, did you mean it when you said, I, I do? And you said, yes. Does that overshadow anything before the wedding? Or are those things like still there and it's like something that has to be worked on during the marriage? Well, the things, cause I just want to be clear and I guess this will set it straight for everybody. Anything that was, that is being divulged on the show. Mm -hmm. um, so basically I did not get blindsided by anything on the show. You know, like right. I had a knowledge, like the lady Mita, like, she inquired to close a loan at my title company, SRS title here in Atlanta. Um, I'm a closing attorney. So, uh, and Jocelyn, whenever she did reach out for that, he gave me her information and, you know, basically, you know, we were going to do business. He let me know that he had a, had previous dealings with the lady. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever money green, like whatever. Um, and so I had a working knowledge of all of this. My issue though, is that when Jocelyn brought this situation to me, uh, in the form of a business opportunity, I guess he was forthcoming with me. Now he just said that it was something from the past, like before his and our relationship. But the way that she is making it seem is that she's been dealing with him since 2008 when he was a married man. Uh, and you know, so it's like, that's weird. That's horrible. It's not far from, I guess, his character at the time or a part of his character. But still, it still would make my ears raise, you know. Um, and then for her to go in to say that she was dealing with him at times where him and I were in a relationship, even all this is prior to marriage, like, that's unacceptable to me because, again, Jocelyn and I have had issues in our past where, you know, I was unfaithful, you know, stuff like that. But that was also within the first year of us knowing and meeting each other, you know, but the time frame that she's speaking of, like we were like serious living together. So it's just like, if any of that is true, like he, he would be a foul of our relationship and yeah. just so wrong, you know? And so that's my thing. And so I know that everybody is of the opinion I shouldn't care because it's before the marriage, but I do care because it's like, don't lie to me and don't have me out here looking like a fool, you know? Um, and I know that sometimes people say, oh, that's cliche, but I'm real serious because in real life, I'm, I'm really this girl in real life. Like none of my businesses are fabricated. None of my accolades are exaggerated. No net worth estimates. Hell, they might be estimating that too low. You know what I mean? So like in real life, Kendra, the person, independent of all of this messy, cloudy mess that, you know, Jocelyn has, it like, you know what I mean? It's like I could do without that and be probably better, you know, arguably better off. You know what I mean? So, like, that stuff bothers me. A ring doesn't make it go away. And I have said this to him several times, and I say this on any platform. I don't care which one it is because it's the truth. I care about if you were a liar up until the day we got married or if, you know, you were living whatever type of life while we were just in a relationship, a marriage doesn't cure that. You know, if somebody's a, a gambling crackhead on one side of the broom, when they step on the other side of the broom, they still let the blackjack still basing up. Like, it, it's no different. So, like, I actually care about that. And I shared with him, and I was rattlesnake serious, like, we still within the annulment period, okay? <laughs> you know, the pre dump Who there. Says, this well, and that. Like, I'm serious. <laughs> like, we can go ahead and undo this and I can continue to move north and you can continue to be in disarray. Like I don't care. And I just <laughs> I'm just serious. serious. And so it's just like I care about what happened before. It's yeah. like we was living together like we were married and stuff. So it's like 
you know, and I explain this to him, I explain this to the world and, and my friends and everybody else. If any, like if any of this stuff is true, even though it was before we cr jumped the broom, like I'm not okay with it. I'm not going to be okay with it. And so to answer your question, you know, we would need to work on stuff like that. Like if you, like, for instance, if he lied to me about anything, that's something that in my opinion needs therapy we need counseling, stuff like that, because I don't want to stay together with a man who is a liar, a cheater, a deceiver, and a womanizer, a gaslighter. I don't, I don't want to be like that. I, it's plenty of men out here who do not fit that description, um, who I feel like would be worthy of my time. And it's just like if that's who he is, if that's who you are, that I, you know, I gave the the option of an old man. I'm a lawyer. I know everybody in the county where we live at one of our houses is there. I know, I know people in all the counties we got property in. So it would take, it would literally be quick. So I just, I don't, I just, you know, it don't matter that it was before marriage. It's like, and he knows that. So y'all just got to keep watching to see, you know, what, <laughs> what he was lying about, what he was telling the truth about. If we even find that out, cause I'm not even sure we find that out. So we, we flow no faith. You want to let that one go where it's at? Oh, no. I didn't know if he was going to ask another question. Oh, no. I, was, I, was, I don't mean like that. I mean, she gave you such a spill. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so, so, of course, you know, back to your question, you know, I disclosed a lot mm -hmm. to her that, you know, we often hear the, the phrase, you know, our money ain't good money. And, you know, because I had not messed with her, I wouldn't, it wouldn't have been a, a feeling of guilt or, or deceit, you know, in the situation. So she called me and I was like, and I had to be honest with her first. When she called me, I said, look, I'm going to be 100 with you. This is a real situation I'm in. I'm going to marry this woman. So I can't just tell you I'm going to just go, I'm going to just turn you over to talk to my wife to be, my soon to be wife to do business because I just, I can't move like that and not disclose that you and I have been intimate before, have been involved. And I just, I'm not gonna do that. And she was like, oh, okay. And I was like, now, if you telling me you're in dire need of, of, of some assistance, and you understand the fact that I will, I'm gonna tell my lady as much as she need to know anything she asked me, I'm gonna be honest and forthcoming with her. And if you and if you make sure that you approach this with the utmost respect on my situation, mm -hmm. I'm cool with that. I said, I can't promise you she gonna she gonna work with you. I say, but my lady gonna get that bag. So if it's a bag to get, you know, you might be in luck. She said, Okay. So when I stood up to Kendra, I told her, I said, babe, you know. You may say, our money ain't good money to this. And I can say you told her, you're absolutely right. But here's the spill. I told her. I gave her the number. That was it. I never asked another, another question about it because at that, at that moment, I felt as a man, honestly, as a man, I did what I was supposed to do. I turned over all it, whatever. Because once you get a number, that's like turning over the documents. Because if she wanted to be on some fire, oh, girl, let me tell you, you know, since we added it. I don't, you know, I hope you don't think you got you nothing. You know, people do stuff like that. In my heart of hearts, I didn't think she would do anything like that because that was nothing for her to do. That was nothing for her to use against me. Yeah. Respectfully, I I felt like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. That's why in the scene, I told Kendra. I said, Kendra, I told you about that. But it still feels like a blindsided <laughs> jab. No, I just didn't remember. Jocelyn tell me a lot of stuff. So it's like, I just told You remember, me. you just didn't remember the name. I didn't so remember the name. I remember he, he hooks me with people all the time, but I just didn't, I don't remember her it's name. He, he told me about it. Like, it well, it wasn't even like, two and two. It was why they tell her about this girl. And they're like, who is that? And I'm like, Kendra, that's Mita, who I told you about and so now she's like and so people like to because i've been like just seeing my comment all the miserable people they like oh you knew this that i'm like no girl i'm just i don't sit on social media all day or i don't sit 
and gossip and do all that all day. So he told me about somebody. I'm expecting a phone call like anybody else do who want to, you know, use me as their lawyer. I didn't well, get I didn't it. Give, I, I move no, on. I, I never moved gave. On. I never gave her your number. I gave you her number. Well, the point is this. And you never called her, so. I, well, because that's not the way I do. Be I don't. Call, I mean, people come to me and they use my services. That's the I, way I that wanted really. To leave it in your. I want to leave that's the fine. power with you. But not the her thing calling is, you if you wanted to. So you know what. That's fine. In the scene, though, you know, I just didn't. It just I didn't put two and two together because I'm just like, what? And then when he explained it, I'm like, oh, okay. But at this point, it ain't even about that. It's about her timeline, and I'm not sure if the. I mean, I guess the show showcased her version of the timeline in several places. So it's just one of those things where I just want everybody to get off my back, utilize my <laughs> services, use SRS title for your closing attorney. Lead, let him figure out all that other stuff. I don't care about it. You know what I mean? But it's like, don't, I just don't want to appear to look weak and look like I'm being lied to and manipulated by no, I, somebody who's supposed to be my husband, my rock and my protector. So, you know, that's just where all of this comes, comes, it boils down to just that. It's, it's not a good look and it's not a good look for like young girls and for our daughters. It looks horrible. Like I told him, I said, now take take one of our daughters meeting and falling in love with a man like you who exudes and exhibits the behavior and, and has every trait that you have, the good, the bad, the ugly and in between. And would you be comfortable giving him away to her? One thing. And I, I, answer, and I, and I, and I meant I can that. answer that question wholeheartedly and I can stand on it. I would not be mad. Cause one thing about me, I'm a provider and I'm a protector. That's one thing. But being me. a provider and a protector does not, it does not make it okay to be a liar, a cheater, say, a what? womanizer. No, 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 it no. doesn't. Listen, listen. That just makes you a protector who, who is a liar, who is a cheater, who is a womanizer. That's not okay. I do not practice lying on the regular. One thing about it, when you talk about any human that you're going to ever encounter, everybody done told a lie. Yeah, I know. Okay? Everybody done Everybody cheated. ain't did what you did. Hey, you right. Exactly. Everybody ain't did so what you don't, did. So don't try to, I know, but don't try to normalize. I'm not. What you have I done. I absolutely am not. What like I'm saying. Like your life is not normal. It's not saying, no model that what, I want a mirror to follow, a money to follow, cadence to follow. Okay. Not. Okay. And I don't think their mothers would either. So okay. let's be, let's be honest. So what, okay? you, so what are you saying? What is that saying about me? I'm your husband. Well, I'm and just, you basically saying you wouldn't, you wouldn't want my sons to be like I, me. I would, I'm not, I would not. I would not want I'm them to have as I many children. Okay. And I would not want so them what? to have all of these different situations. That's not something I would I want for them. I understand. I would. I would. I don't necessarily want that for them either. Okay. But don't I do. Sum, want, I but want don't them to sum have... me up just in the fact because I got kids. Because let me tell you something. I it's take not, it. It's not just no, because no, no, you no, have no, children. No, 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 I'm going to say it like this. It's though. not just because you have children. I'm going to say it. That's Put not it what I was saying. Put it on the table. Come down. So that's say that's not, not what I was saying. Because it's I, I take offense to you that. Have, it's not. Well, I'm sure you would. I take but if you to listen that. to it from a logical standpoint, no, it it's not the fact standpoint. that you have children. It's well, you 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 say that the children are not you the say issue. That. Don't just make it seem like I'm a bad person. Don't say it, make something some, not. some fucked up saying. individual. What you're not gonna do is do that. I didn't say that. Well, that's how you put it. You, you said I, you wouldn't want my son to be like me. I wouldn't want them to do some of the things that you okay. have done. Okay, oh, and I wouldn't want my daughters Namely, to do some of the things you've done. I We're know, human. That's what you I'm would trying want to say. Them to do majority of the things that I've done. But listen, what I'm saying is, when you talk about me, don't sum say me facts, up. Right? Don't sum me up on the worst side of me or what you consider the worst side of me. Because ain't okay. nobody fucking perfect. So okay. don't do that. That's All what we're right. not gonna do. Because okay. as a man, guess what? I got to stand on mine too. Because yeah, I because guess what? Get, you, let me yeah, let me tell you something. You I didn't go to college. Guess That's what? Fine. I want my kids to go to college. So we can say that That's right good. now. That's, I don't want them to go that direction. I want them to go to college. I can say that with you too. Right. But don't sit here in front of the world, in front of a, a, a medium, mm -hmm. and say, oh, I wouldn't want my son or your sons to be like you. Hold on. No, we gotta be, no you're going to put some respect like on my name. Because at the end of the day, I'm successful. I, I take care of my kids. Okay. Ain't none of my kids out here in, 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 in dire need of, of, of love and support. Okay. So we're going to do that. Okay. okay. Cause I don't appreciate that. Cause well, there's some things I'm about you that I could say I wouldn't say want my it. daughters to do. Go ahead. I'm not Tell gonna do that. I respect you and I love <laughs> I want, you enough. I want this magazine. I, I, no, to no, know no, 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 no. I what respect it is about integrity. me. You don't want your your daughters. I'm not gonna to do that. Like. I'm, you should. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I 
be my guest. I'm not. I'm gonna not gonna be that. slighted, honey. I'm not gonna do that. That's that's where that's where we have to draw the line. Okay. Because I don't care because the camera in front I'm of me you or somebody light, asking sweetheart. me questions. I'm not gonna reveal my everything that go on with me. Just okay. like right now, you ain't gonna see him in front of these people and tell what your credits go with. You ain't gonna see him telling your social security number. You ain't gonna see him tell them what's in your bank account either. I won't. Okay, so some things are better left fucking unsaid okay. and in the private, and that's what I'm gonna do. So when you okay. addressing me, okay. don't ever, don't ever make it seem like I'm the worst of the worst, cause I'm not. Okay. Cause I came through and changed your life, and it wasn't about me having no money. It was about the right, integrity. It, it was about it, it was about my integrity. It was about me standing up for you. It was about me helping you open your eyes to see things that no other man has gotten you to do. So when you talk about me and address me, please be mindful of that, cause I love you for who you are, I good and you, bad. You know but, I love but, you. So for don't. Who you so, are. What but else I would never I say to the world that I wouldn't want my daughters to be like you, because then it makes me question why are you with me. I'm not with you for the bad things. I'm not with you for having outside well, children. Well, just don't ever say that again, unbid. please. Okay, well, you asked me. You got it in this interview. Don't, just don't let me hear you say that again. Okay. Ever, please, thank you. I'm sorry. No, I appreciate that. You can that. carry on.